Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. How y'all doing? Been a little while since I made a vlog. Actually, it hasn't, but I haven't edited. I have another vlog to edit and upload. But how are you guys doing? Lovely Sunday afternoon here in the White Mountains of Arizona, northeastern Arizona. And uh, the park is absolutely, is absolutely empty, so I can sit here in the park instead of going out in the forest. I usually prefer to go out in the forest, but hey. So, what's going on? Uh, with me, just get it out of the way and early. Due to... um. My family situation, health issues with mom and dad, and upcoming possible health issues, and now my own health issues. I haven't made, you know, done any videos or anything in a while, and, and uh, one of my viewers kind of made me feel bad about that, but he also motivated me. Uh, he sent me a gift from my wish list. It's the second one he sent me. The first one was a gaming headset a while back, and this time he sent me a, a perspective grid sketch pad, which I was eyeing, but I couldn't afford at the time. And, uh, and a little note in there says, a gift for you. Hi, Efren. Enjoy your gift. Looking forward to the next video. Don't give up. From from Matt from Canada. She says, Canada. I guess a typo. It's okay, man. But, uh, you know, thank you very much. You kind of made me feel bad. I haven't been producing, but it also motivates me to do something. But, like Efren mentioned, you know, my my now current uh, health issues, which are going to be sorted out, and mom and dad's things might be coming up. Uh, things have been kind of hectic, and now I'm going to Look, look, looking to be the president of a local organization called Alliance Club, Pond Overguard Ponderosa Alliance Club, because our president is resigning to start a new life journey of her own, a good journey. And I won't give details, because it's not my place to spread. So, things are going to start getting a little more hectic, and, you know, mom and dad's health is not going to get any better. His mom just got diagnosed with something else, and again, I won't go into details, but it's going to take, you know, more, more of my free time. But I'm going to push hard and start doing videos on all my channel, four of my channels. That segues into the COPPA thing that's going on now, the Children's Online Privacy Prote and Protection Act, and everyone's going crazy on YouTube. Everyone's losing their minds, like the Joker said, about it. And I'm seeing videos from lawyers that are saying it could be bad, but not as bad. You know, the, there are a lot of fear mongering, but it's not totally unwarranted. So I went through this morning and tried to make my channels as COPPA compliant as I could. My original channel, which is under my 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 name, Efren Kiwis, I del I marked it not for not aimed at kids, and I deleted all the videos because I haven't had views on them in years. I think the newest one is like 2017. I uploaded, I got like maybe three views, but you know, I don't use it anymore. But there's the banner says go to uh, uh, my my new vlog channel, My, Irrele or my Relevant Life. And uh, for My Relevant Life, if it's not down on the, dis well, there's no videos there. So in My Relevant Life in the description there has links to EQE3 Enterprises, my business channel, and my two Star Wars channels. Star Wars Continuum and Acolyte of the Force, and I have nothing on Acolyte of the Force, so I had to dig to find the, the thing to go be COPPA compliant, and for now, I made that not for children, because I'm not aiming my Star Wars content at children, it's actually for everyone. You know, I try not to cuss on my videos, I just try to keep it family friendly, but I'm not aiming specifically at children. And uh, Star Wars Continuum, there's a few videos where I showed off my uh, Star Wars figures hauls, so I just better safe than sorry and marked those for children only. I marked a channel, not for children, but I marked a few videos, children only. Or aimed at children, even though it's not technically aimed at children, but it's got toys in it. And I'll still do videos like that, and I'll still mark them that way. I'll have to work hard to, you know, make up. You, you, I, I can't monetize any of my channels right now. I'm not even close. I think you have to have a thousand viewers or a thousand hours, something like that. They might raise it, too, the way our luck goes. But but uh, if I can push and get to that point, I'll really have to, you know, police myself. And so ho hopefully uh, the FTC will consider all the input and... And, uh, and petitions and stuff, and and try to, and, and try to overhaul and get it more specific. And they need a, uh, uh, what, what would you call it, a G-rated or PG-13, whatever thing, like uh, a rated for everyone. Because my Star Wars stuff is for everyone, but it's not specifically aimed at children. I can't imagine anyone under 12 would have any interest in it, except the, you know the Star Wars toys, maybe. Yeah, you know, my uh, business channel is aimed at you know pushing advertising and. Uh, you know, and uh, and spotlighting small business startups and and uh, underdogs. So I can't imagine. I mean, there might be some real young entrepreneurs that might be interested in some of the videos, but the companies. But I'm not aiming it at children. So we'll see what happens. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm worried, but I'm not overly worried. I'm not gonna do anything to try to blatantly get around the COPPA the COPPA law because I'm not freaking stupid. And I'm sure some. I'm sure someone's gonna be made an example of for this. Of course, another question comes to mind. Uh, not, no one's really, I don't think anyone's touched on this yet, not that I know of. If you live in a different country and you set up your YouTube channel on your country's offshoot of YouTube, whatever it is, 
Are you, you know, the, I, don't, I can't imagine the FTC has any authority outside the United States. I don't know how that's going to work. But if your channel was started in the U.S. and you live somewhere else, obviously, you know, the laws apply, I guess. I don't know how they, how, how they, uh, how would they enforce it? I don't know what, I wonder what international entity or, or whatever would, you know, be able to enforce that. Or would they even bother? Well, that's a U.S. law. It doesn't apply to us, but... You know, got to wonder. I'm not sure that all that will come to light eventually. Oh, what else? Oh, and uh, I have succumbed to the Mac side, sort of. One of my clients gave me their old iMac. It's a 21.5-inch, mid-2011 iMac. And uh, I you know, took I took all their stuff off, and I tried to update it to High Sierra, and it wouldn't. I tried to get on the App Store. I set up a an Apple ID. And it said, you have to upgrade your software in order to download this software upgrade. Really? <laughs> I'm darned if I do, darned if I don't. So I found online, on Amazon, they also sell it on eBay, but it's more on eBay, uh, a CD that has the full high seer installed. If that doesn't work, well, you know, because I'm, I'm holding off getting a, like, I want to bump it up to like 16 gig or 20 gigs of RAM. It's got four gigs in it. I want to pump it up to get a couple of 8 gig RAM chips. And thankfully, it's easy to install. There's a little panel on the body take off and you pull a thing down, you snap them in, and pretty easy. If you want to change out the hard drive, that's a different story. The glass front is magnetic, and it comes off, then you have to take the monitor itself down, and the hard drive is right back there. So you might you might have to get a... If you put a smaller hard drive than what's in there, I think it's a 3.5 inch in there, but if you want to put a 2.5 inch, you've got to get an adapter thing and all that. So, I mean, not a huge deal. If that install works good, I might consider that, because I have a, 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 a laptop sitting there that's got a... Uh, an SSD in it. I, I may consider it's a Kingston, so I might consider if the person I was uh, I have that and doesn't want it, I might buy it from them cheap. So I have a feeling the power supply went bad, you know, the external, but I haven't had a chance to check it yet. So anyway, I might consider doing that if <clears throat> if that install works fine, because a fresh install would probably work fine if the upgrade works. If not, well, because I, I want to be able to capture video and I plug my webcam. I got a Logitech C920 and it works pretty. It work. It works on there. I was, I was using, was it iMovie or a uh, slideshow or something like that? <clears throat> and it comes up, but when I try to capture video, it freezes. So I'm assuming not enough RAM. So if I had 20 gigs of RAM, that might work, you know. And I can always bump it down to like 720. I think, I don't know if it's on native 8, 1080. Because it's ca per perfectly capable of 1080, 30. So if I bump it down to 720, have enough RAM, who knows? That could be my video capture box. If I need to show something online, I'll just... Because my render box doesn't have internet capability, so I can't install the Logitech software. Because it insists on going online, so... If not, maybe I'll sell it. They have pretty good value. If someone wants one just to start out with, you know. If I can upgrade upgrade the OS, if not, well, who knows? We'll see. But, yeah, I now have a an iMac in my room. I know, I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. It's not a bad computer. You know, seeing as it's, it's way old and older operating system, it's actually pretty speedy. But there's certain apps I want to download OBS and it won't work on that. I, it, it would pop up briefly and shut itself off. So hopefully if I can upgrade to High Sierra and OBS works, I might be able to capture video with that. So we'll wait and see. And I decided not to get the RAM upgrade. I also was going to get a little adapter so I could plug it into my TV. Because it's hard to see it sitting behind my laptop. I'm going like, because <laughs> it's small. So I'm going to if the upgrade works, then I'll get the... I'll get the memory upgrade on the little adapter. If the adapter doesn't work, I'll get a cable. I might get both because they're not too expensive. So, Anyway, that's kind of what's going on with me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Rise of Skywalker. Of course, all the all the rumors floating around about reshoots, and it's a disaster. I and mean, they do that with all the movies. Oh, it's going to be crap. It's going to be a disaster. But, you know, I personally loved Last Jedi. I don't know what's wrong with people, but I don't like uh, Kathleen Kennedy uh, femi feminizing Star Wars and Lucasfilm to death. I mean, she can keep a balance, and I have a feeling the Mandalorian might be going that way, because all of a sudden he's a babysitter now, and I won't ruin it for you if you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but I've seen enough spoilers. You know, is he going to fall into the background as a babysitter, and uh, the, the female, I guess she's a female bounty hunter, going to step up and do? Who knows? If it goes that way, the fans will be pissed. <laughs> but, of course, I have a feeling uh, Rise of Skywalker is going to go that way, too. So, she so making Ray being Superwoman, everyone else's background characters, and you know, you guys can watch the videos about what she what she supposedly does to the emperor, and you know, they think bring the emperor back just just to stomp him out. I mean, come on, blatant feminism at its finest. Yeah. Anyway, wait and see. Wait till December. You know, this, the first Star Wars movie that I wasn't really overly excited about, but I'm still gonna go see it. It's Star Wars. You know, I I saw the first movie in '77, and I'm gonna see the last movie. You know, in 2019, and end of story. I'll be a fan, but. Not necessarily of going forward, you know. You don't have to be a fan of every single movie, but I'll be a fan of certain parts of the movie, and if it's overall bad, well, wait and see. 
<sighs> no, because of my uh, health issues have been cropping up. I haven't been doing work any out. I'm trying to learn the guitar and I like to learn piano, but I don't have a keyboard. I've been using a keyboard online and it's kind of funky. If you want to play the black keys, you got to hold shift or alt or something and then and the button and the number keys are the thing. They couldn't make one row of the black keys, one row of the white. I don't know. I haven't found a, a, a virtual keyboard like that yet. That'd be nice, but anyway, I haven't been doing, I haven't been drawing. I need to draw regularly to get better so I can draw my fursona. So I haven't been doing, I'm going to get back to that. I have to push, you know. If I'm not feeling good, I can lay there and draw. It's not going to kill me, but of course, depression is another big thing I've been dealing with and being plagued with, but I have to fight through it. You know, fight the good fight. So, until next time, guys. I hope this won't be a long time between this vlog and the next one. I have another one previous to upload. I went and saw the Joker a few weeks ago and showed off some fall colors around here and in Shola, and I need to edit and upload that tonight and get this one done sometime next week. But I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to push it and Thank, thank, thanks for this uh, this cool fan I have. He's pushing me to, you know, not give up. And I'm not going to give up, man. Not going to give up, man. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Remember, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Next, I accept all constructive criticism. I don't acknowledge trolls. I share a helpful troll. Please check out my other channels down in the description below. Uh, EQE3 Enterprises, Acolyte of the Force, and Star Wars Continuum. And it would really help me out, and hopefully eventually. I think on this channel I've got 92 subscribers. If I can get it, it'd be nice to hit 100. People like to celebrate. You hit 100. I'd love to celebrate that. So, so like and subscribe, and that'll help me a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, may the Force be with you, and take care, YouTubers.